Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at percentage growth in terms of how can we take our starting number and increase it by a certain percentage. Uh, so again this was um, come about or this video came about by questions we had received and also we'd been this is like a common uh, thing we find ourselves doing so I thought it'd be ideal video to share with everyone else. So our first example we have here is we've got the, we we'll say starting price, but we've just got the number of 100 and we want to increase that by 10% to give us our end price. So that one's a fairly straightforward calculation you could do in your head. So we know that 10% uh, of 100 is 10. So therefore 100 at 10% is going to be 110 uh, as our final end price. So the calculation that we actually need to do here is we don't want to just, well, let's step that back. If we wanted to work out what 10% of 100 is, then we could simply put into our calculation, our equal sign, select our starting price, times. So when we're doing times and um, calculations in Excel, we use our asterisk symbol, what's achieved by doing the shift and the number eight button, and then by the percentage growth. So we've got the 10% there. And if we hit enter, we can see our result is 10. So we know how to achieve the 10%. But what do we want to do in order to grow it by 10% rather than just understand what 10% is? So in order to do that, we actually want to know what 110% is of 100 because that's going to give us our desired result of increasing the uh, 100 by 10%. So in order to do that, we need to do a, a calculation within, uh, or not within, but it, kind of within this calculation to first... Uh, increase our 10% um, by 100 uh, so that we'll not increase it by 100 but in, uh, turn that into 110% rather than just a 10% and then we can use that to multiply uh, our starting price. So what our calculation is going to look like is it's actually going to be our starting price um, then we're going to times that by and this is where we're going to put our additional calculation so what we're going to do here is one plus our percentage growth. So that's what our calculation is going to look like. So what that will then come down to in um, technically is it will then form this. It will be starting price times, and then obviously the result of what we've got in the brackets there. So this is actually going to give us 110%. And then this is what I help achieve, our, get us to achieve our desired result of growing um, our value correctly. It's also worth to know that obviously at the moment we've entered 10% uh, here because we've got the formatting like this. But actually what our value would look like uh, if we were to put it into decimals as its actual form is this 0 0.10, what it relates to 10%. So in theory, what our, is the number is going to also look like in those brackets is going to be 1.10. So you could also say that the calculation is not just going to be times by 110%, the alternative of that is going to be times by 1.1. And as we know, if you times by 1, it's going to give you the same answer. So 100 times 1 will be 100. But if you do 100 times 1.1, that is what's going to help us achieve and get that percentage growth. So if we just undo that, so get back to that 10%, we can now put in our actual formula here. And we can just update the one we've got here. So our starting price of B4 is still the same. Our time symbol is still the same. But what we just need to do is enter our brackets. We then need to do the 1 plus our percentage growth, what's in column C and then make sure we close the bracket as well. So we'll obviously anywhere where we've got an opening of a bracket, that needs to be followed at some point by the closing bracket. So this is what our um, calculation looks like in full. And then when we hit enter, we can see our end price gives us our desired result. And obviously if we were to change this percentage growth maybe to five, it's all gonna dynamically update into our end price. And this works the same for all these other values we've got here. So let's put some random numbers in. So we could say, let's do a 50%, maybe a 25% and we could even do something what's a bit higher, it's a bit harder to work out, so maybe put 73, a bit of a strange number there. And then all we can do is just we just drag this formula down in our end price, then that's gonna update for all those values as well. 
So there you are, a pretty short and um, hopefully to the point video and hopefully that's given you the answers required so that you can now start incorporating this formula into your Excel work. If you haven't done already, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure to hit that bell notification button so that YouTube notifies you as soon as any of our videos come onto the platform. To be extra safe, we've also got links in the description to our Instagram and our Facebook pages. So give those a follow because uh, we always share when we'll be posting a new video on those platforms as well. So it'll be a double safe to make sure you never miss any of our content. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you very soon. Of course.